Every night fucks every day up Every day patches the night up Oh my oh god, you should match it, it's that kale No one had us till I fuck my spoonie, ate the 1998, my family had the acne So, Ghost Queens came through with this yakky texture. It's considered their light yakky. It's too, not too brown, so it's going to be perfect with my hair. I'm going to run my fingers through it one time before I install just so I can give you guys kind of like my initial thought. I do like the fact that it doesn't have like that super crinkly yakky to it. Sometimes that can be a hit or miss. It just depends on if you have the patience to blow the hair out first and then press it out. This hair is pretty soft, but it could be a little bit softer. I wanna say this kind of gives synthetic hair almost. So I'm just gonna count the clips. This is their five clip clip-in. They have two of those. They have two four clip clip-in. Here is their three clip clip-in. So they do have four two clip clip-in wefts. These come in handy. So I'm gonna start off with a four clip clip-in. I did this last time I had installed their curly clips and I felt like the four clip should have went first. I did put a two clip at the nape of my neck, but because I'm working with a total of 10 clip-in wefts and I don't want to run out of clip-ins towards the top half. I still have the same braid pattern that I had with that clip-in set, so this should work out perfectly. Every night fucks every day up. Every day patches the night up. The first clip. Kind of get away with spacing these out a little bit because the hair is a little bit fuller. Really sturdy clips. And they don't have the seamless, like, flat piece at the top. I don't mind though because I feel like that seamless piece can be a little bit clockable if you don't cover it up properly. So this kind of blends in a little bit better with your natural hair. And put this ear to ear. And I'm stretching these clip-ins as far as I can stretch it because, because I don't want any lumps. I brought you guys a little closer so you can see how seamless this is. I'm gonna wait till the end to straighten the rest of the hair, but I really do like it so far. I'm gonna take a five. Open this bad boy up. So I'm gonna put this five really close to my hairline, like that, and then wrapping. Hopefully you can see. And stretching them out and then clipping them so it can be super flat makes it feel really secure. So you might want to take that tip. I'm gonna put this closer to my hairline and move the weft up a little bit higher because now we're getting towards, now we're working towards the crown of my head and I wanna make sure I have enough clip-ins. Putting it as close right at the edge of my hairline. We have four left, but we're gonna pray that we can make this work. I'm gonna grab this two and put this all the way right here. Alright, so this is gonna seal the deal right in the spot that I needed to right here to close that up so it worked out perfectly mind you you know this is not a wig this is a quick style but you may have to tweak something i definitely wasn't going to put a five up there or even a four i knew that a three would be perfect i just had to figure out what which side i wanted to remove the first three from i, I chose this side because you know this is giving a little you know a little bang yang i'm just going to quickly take my hair out 
go ahead and part my hair just to see if this is covering up how it's supposed to. Yes, it's gonna look good. So this is what we're working with, y'all. As you can see, I'm not being gentle at all and the clip-ins are staying in place because your girl is heavy-handed and sometimes I'll be forgetting. Flat iron on 45 because this is yakky hair. We're gonna see what 50 does. I'm gonna add a little bit of this Shine Spray slash Heat Protecting Spray. I tried their Curly out and it did have like a distinct smell. This actually doesn't have that smell, so I'm really happy about that. Every night fucks every day up. Every day patches the night up. Oh God, you should match it, it's that kill. No one night is till I fuck my spoonie ate the this hair y'all because when I say the girls be in a rush sometimes I feel like this is going to be the perfect style and it looks really really natural as I'm pressing it out and only 10 clip-ins to achieve this look you can't beat that it comes in a pack it's affordable they have affordable prices they're not I know that their yakki is giving blown out silk press african-american hair I think we definitely need to share this with the people, okay? As you can see, it's a super dark, close to black shade, like I was telling you guys in the beginning. So my hair is going to blend in perfect with this. Before I press my hair out, I am gonna turn around just so you guys can see the density without my hair being, causing, without my hair causing any of that. So I'm feeling it. I wanna quickly go in the mirror to see if I have everything covered in the back. 